Kelly Barlow Creations. If you're new to my channel and you're stopping by for the first time, thank you for stopping by. Welcome to my channel. Stick around a while by clicking that red button for more crafting on a budget, more everything on a budget videos to come. And if you click it again when the bell appears, YouTube should notify you every time I upload a new video, depending on the option that you choose in the drop down menu of the bell. If you're interested in following me on social media, you can find those links in the description box below. What have I got going on for you for today? Today's DIY is using the recycled glass from these candles that I use so often to DIY my own candles with. And once I'm done DIYing them, we are left with an empty glass like this. And so many of you have asked me, do I have a DIY recycling these so you don't have to throw them out? I know I've done a few of the candle DIYs using these candles and I haven't brought you the DIY using the recycled glass, but that was because I had an idea for them doing it in the fall and harvest decor style. And so that was what I was holding out for. I can't wait to show you what I have in mind for these and how you can so easily recycle these on a budget and make a beautiful fall decor piece, Christmas decor piece, any decor piece that you want because today's DIY is such a versatile one. It could be done to suit any season, holiday, decor style you choose, you'll see. It turned out really fun. I can't wait to show you what I do with these. So let's not waste any more time. Let's jump into it. Let me show you how easy this DIY is recycling these and turning them into something awesome. Okay, so did I mention that today's DIY is super quick and easy recycling these glass jars? These were ones from a previous candle DIY that I did. I'll link that in the description box below. Before I get more into the DIY, I wanted to take a quick second to show you some of the really cool candles that I've made using those candles from the Dollar Tree. These are such budget-friendly candles using items from the Dollar Tree and from Michaels. These candles are gonna cost you under $5 to make. You'll see in this jar that there is some wax residue from the candle. Now there is an easy remedy to get this out. I have my craft cookie sheet out and ask me why I put parchment paper down first. I don't really know, but I don't think it's necessary. But I think I must have realized that because I then went in with three layers of paper towel and put that on top because I'm going to place my glass jars upside down on the paper towels and I'm gonna preheat my oven to about 135 degrees, which is just hot enough to get the glass nice and warm to melt this wax to get it up off the glass. I put them in the oven for about 10, 15 minutes and you can see that a lot of the wax came up off the glass and so they're pretty clean. The wax went down onto the paper towel and you can see that the paper towel isn't burnt and there is a nice puddle of wax on here that came out of those glasses. To get the extra wax out, just so it doesn't dry white, because this was previously a white candle, I'm just gonna take a paper towel and run it on the inside of my glass, and that should do the trick. If you're using jars from the Dollar Tree, you'll see that they have this larger sticker on the side. We are gonna wanna remove that, and it's easiest to remove it while the jar is still hot. There will be some adhesive residue left over, don't worry about it. Now taking these beautiful sunflower placemats that you can get at the Dollar Tree right now, they are double-sided, which is perfect. I'm gonna open these placemats up by cutting the seams off of all four sides, and I'm gonna cut as close to the seam as I can to get as much usable fabric as I can. And so when cutting the seam off of this, this is gonna give us two pieces of fabric, the sunflower fabric and that marigold yellow. Using my jar, I'm going to use that as, I guess, a guiding point to measure how wide or long I need my fabric to be to cover this. And an easy way to get a nice clean cut is to fold your fabric in half so you don't have to cut the full length and worry about cutting a straight line. And so once I've got this cut, I've got the length of the fabric that I need for this. We will be using some Mod Posh for this and I will be using a mat. If you wanna use gloss or a waterproof, you can do that too. I'm gonna to put a nice healthy coat and I'm gonna really be generous with this Mod Posh around the entirety of all three glass jars. 
but I'm gonna do one at a time just to be clear because the Mod Podge will dry pretty quickly. And you guessed it, I will be using this beautiful sunflower print that was once a placemat to cover my jars with. Now I'm gonna do two jars with the sunflower print and I'm gonna do one with that beautiful marigold yellow. I'm gonna do that one a bit different because that yellow was a very see-through fabric. So I'll show you what I do with that. But once I've got this sunflower fabric wrapped around my jar, I'm gonna go ahead and just cut it. You can see that I have this leftover piece here after I cut it that's gonna work for my second jar. I'm gonna go ahead and seal it with some Mod Podge, giving it a second coat. Once I've got a good healthy coat of Mod Podge on these, I am gonna place them back in the oven or I'm gonna stick them outside if it's over 100 degrees and they're gonna dry a bit quicker than just keeping them indoors. Now with the yellow fabric, I did tell you I was doing it a bit different. You can see that it is a very see-through fabric. And so with this one, I decided to go two layers thick and actually wrap the fabric around the jar. I wanna say two times I went with. And again, with this one, you're gonna wanna be really generous with that Mod Podge because you've got two layers of fabric. There's really not a need to put a layer of Mod Podge in between each fabric unless you really want to. I found that just placing the second coat on top of it, I guess, really seemed to work just fine. You can see just how beautiful these turned out. If you happen to have any long edges on the side, just take your scissors and using the glass as a guide, you can cut that fabric off pretty easily because it's stiff from the Mod Podge, so you'll get a nice clean cut. Now taking some of Dollar Tree's nautical rope, on the yellow jar itself, I'm gonna wrap the center of this and I think I'm gonna go around the jar maybe three or four times just to give it, I guess, a bit of character, just to add some detail to the center of this since the other two jars have sunflowers. I wanted to really tie in some twine or rope into this and I think that this is gonna be a good accent for this jar itself. I'm not gonna add any rope to the sunflower jars because I don't wanna take away from the detail of the fabric, but I am going to place just a bit of glue on the side of the rope there where the two jars would meet just to hold these jars into place and keep them side by side. I want these jars to have a more finished look and I think the top just looks kind of choppy and so I'm gonna finish off the top and the bottom of these jars with some nautical rope just kind of lining the top and I think I'm gonna go around twice just to give it a bit of thickness and again add a bit more detail and character to this. My thoughts behind adding the rope to the top and the bottom were just that I really wanted to give this the feel and the look that this was one piece instead of three separate jars. This still felt a bit unfinished and so I decided to finish it off with one of these sunflower daisies that you can get from Michaels. Now the flowers that I'm going to be using are I guess these cattails which really aren't flowers but it is a fall and harvest set and it's got pine cones, it's got the cattails, it's got the autumn leaves. I picked up two sets of these because they were $2.97 and they were very full sets. I liked the colors. I felt like it was a great piece that really tied into the sunflowers well. I didn't feel the need to fill the center vase because these were so full. If you wanted to, you could, but I was super happy with the two and how full it made it and I love the outcome of this. I think that this is such a fun piece. It's a great way to recycle these. You can really do this for any time of year. And I gotta say, I'm really excited with the outcome of this piece. I like it so much that this piece has most definitely found a place this fall and harvest season on my mantle, above my fireplace, below this large clock. I told you this is such a versatile piece. It can really be done to suit any decor style, any holiday, any season, just by switching up the fabric or even using paper if you wanted to. I hope you all enjoyed my DIY using these recycled glass candle jar things from the Dollar Tree that I have been making candles out of. Please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and let's get this video to 5,000 likes because like I always say, each and every one of those thumbs up and those comments that you do leave down below, they really do help my channel to grow and it helps YouTube to notice me just a bit more. Until next time everybody, I hope you have a fantastic day. Happy crafting on a budget. Stay happy, stay safe, stay healthy, but most of all, stay positive and bye for now everybody.